our climate. A new report on climate change painting a grim picture for our environmental future. ABC 6 Storm Tracker meteorologist Skylar Spindler spoke with a professor from Brown University to break down what this means for us. The IPCC report was created to use scientific information to develop climate policies. Today it has 195 members and thousands of people from all over the world who contribute to the work of the IPCC. The summary includes what we know about what drives climate change, its impacts, future risk, and how we can adapt and mitigate these current and future problems. Most importantly, it's how we can reduce those risks. And though the science is not new, it does paint a very stark picture of where the world is heading. As today's report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, details, humans are responsible for virtually all global heating over the last 200 years. The report says the impact of planet heating pollution is already more severe than expected. From the wildfires out west to the strange winter weather here in New England, summer heat waves, droughts and extreme flooding, these are all a part of the bigger picture of what climate change is causing. All of these are things that scientists have been predicting for about 30 years, but now we're starting to see them not as a future prospect, but something that's already happening. And we are on a dangerous path towards irreversible consequences. The international climate goals are set to slip out of reach unless immediate action is taken. There's also major impacts to human health. That comes through a lot of different changes to the system. One is heat waves, which is no surprise. Another one, though, is changing infectious diseases. For every increment of warming, it will rapidly escalate these hazards. And if you had a child born here in 2020, they have to bear the burdens of the choices that you and I make today in the year 2090. They're going to see really whether we got our act together and cleaned up or whether we continue to mitting. And it's not all doom and gloom. There is a silver lining to the story. We do have the resources and the solutions available to us, but we just need to adjust our habits now. You know, I think one of the most important things individuals can do right now is get informed. Reporting in Providence, I'm Skylar Spindler. All right, time now for check on the forecast. Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Benson joining us live in the Weather Center tracking some storms. Jeff, it's been such a nice day, it's a shame. Yeah, I, very quickly things changed. One minute, it's blue sky wall to wall. And the next